Hello, everybody, and welcome to our very first Wendy's Entire Downline Monthly Webinar. I hope that you are comfortable, and I hope you have a coffee, and I hope you didn't freak out because of daylight savings changes, but uh, I'm going to try and do this once a month as a recap of what people might miss if they cannot make it to a unit meeting. So that's what this meeting is all about. It's just catching people up. If you have already attended a unit meeting, the only reason that I imagine that you should be listening to this webinar is because you've sponsored someone and they are with you and you want to invite them to find out more about the business and see what's up this month. So um, let's see. I think I'm just going to give it a go here by hitting the next slide and tell you what our agenda is. So our agenda today, we're going to go through this agenda each and every month. I'm going to stick to this agenda and just simply use it as a template. We're going to review who we are. We're going to talk about the Nirvana 15 and Nirvana 15. I'll explain what that means. We're going to review the promotions that are available in the month. We are also going to go through diary appointments that are important, that are upcoming and some of those also include far out items, but we're really going to just talk about those each month because they they seem to come up quickly. The year goes by very fast. We're going to do a little bit of training. I have three slides of training today, and then we are going to have sort of some homework, a little bit of an activity to take what you've learned and to put it onto a, um, you know, a, a plan of attack. So. I, I like this saying here on this slide. She turned her can'ts into cans and her dreams into plans. And uh, that sort of is indicative of me. So I thought that I'd share it with you. All right, let's go to the next slide. So who we are. Um, the people who were invited to this were everybody in my downline. So I've put the rainbows and me, Wendy Lloyd Curley, in the middle. And that is our, that's, me. That's who I started. And I became a unit of the rainbows back in 2007. And we have some other circles that have promoted out. They've become unit leaders themselves. And I'll just start uh, down at the bottom left. Vivaray is run by Sharon Mordu. She used to be a rainbow and she's got her own team now. Angel Aura is run by Mel Flannery. She, again, um, used to be a rainbow. We also have Color Your World with Trisha Kryacic, and uh, Trisha used to be a rainbow. And then Glowing Inspirations with Belinda, and Belinda's got her own team there as well. We do have one team leader in the rainbows. She's not yet a unit leader, but Trudy Protzman is uh, going to be the unit leader of the Tea Lights, and her hot month and her team's hot month is this month, and we wish them the best of luck. Now, each of the people there, so let's just use Belinda as an example. Belinda and the Glowing Inspirations has a lot of teammates on that group. And some of those people are working towards becoming team leaders and unit leaders themselves. So I'd like to watch this flower grow and uh, can't wait to see more and more people have their own units and their own success. So that's who we are. Let's talk about the Nirvana 15. I've got um, two different charts here and they're formatted beautifully, don't you think? <laughs> um, the first one on the left is the unit activity chart. And I want to share this with you because I find it incredibly important to the unit leaders and to the units themselves to be part of an active unit by the 15th of the month. So there are three qualifications to be active in a month. And here they are at the top, selling consultants to have five or more selling consultants by the 15th of the month, including the unit leader. So the unit leader and four consultants, if all of them have sold something by the 15th of the month and put it into the system, then that goes green. The second criteria is total sales. And the goal for that is $5,000 or more in total sales. And if the team has sold $5,000 worth of candles by the 15th of the month, that also goes green. You can see that in the month of September, the Glowing Inspirations unit had $8,300 in total sales by the 15th of the month, and the Rainbows had $23,000. So both of those were green. 
and Vivere, Color Your World, and Angel Aura had not yet reached the 5,000, so they are in the white. In the white. <clears throat> Pardon me, my voice went away. The third criteria is the active leader. And so a leader should have $1,400 in sales by the 15th of the month. That's halfway to bonusing. And it enables the leader to have a fully active unit by the 15th. And you can again see that uh, Angel Aura, well, that was Mel Flannery, Belinda Hyatt from Glowing Inspirations, and myself had all achieved the $1,400 target by the uh, 15th of the month. Let's see. I um, want to show you then on the right, the top 15. And I want to welcome Viola because Viola has just written to me and said hello. So hi, Viola. So the top 15 people in the units, all of those units by the 15th of the month are listed here. And um, you can see the span of the sales that were required to be in the top 15 by the 15th of the month. So Adrian McHowage, Melissa Flannery, Nissa Holiday, Jade Girk, Trudy Lee Protzman, Kathy Therese, Raywin Hargraves. I don't think I've met Raywin yet. I look forward to that. And Jade, I haven't met you yet, but I talk about you so often that I feel like I have. Uh, Beck Zombie, Natalie Forshaw, Wendy, that's me. Michelle O'Dowd, Beat the Leader, good girl. Michelle Camilleri, Beat the Leader, yay. Viola, the Villa Shirk, and Belinda Hyatt. And number one in the Nirvana 15 with already bonusing, $2,845.50, is Rainbow Marion McLean. And um, that's a fantastic place to be. When you become a unit leader, Marion, you will listen to the unit leader webinars. And what Jenny Messenger always says is first place is best place. So welcome to the Nirvana 15, everybody. All right. Promotions. This month we have heaps and heaps of promotions. I guess every month we do. And every month I always say that they're amazing. I'm not going to go into detail on each and every one because I think they're very, very simple this month. So let's first of all review the guest specials. The Halloween specials are available until the 15th of this month at midnight. You need to make sure that if you have clients who love Halloween and want to decorate with our Halloween products this year, that they place their order before the 15th. And you don't want to wait until the 15th to put the offer out there. Put the offer out there now. Let people know. I I often say that I find in Australia people either love Halloween or hate Halloween. And Halloween is something that the people who love it really love it. They like to decorate. They like to have a party. They like to have people over. So our products are absolutely beautiful for that. There is a special in the Halloween brochure as well, if they spend $30 or more in the Halloween brochure, they can then get the senor and senorita holders for half price, which is, um, they're beautiful holders. They'll come out year after year. In fact, they may never go away because they're kind of cute. The second guest special that is in your reflections is the Jonathan Adler sale. This is an incredible clearance sale. That's what I'm calling. I'm calling it a clearance sale. We are working to clear out the shelf space in our um, in our warehouse to clear all of the Jonathan Adler products out because they're not in our catalog anymore. I also want to let you know that the, what I have decided to say about Jonathan Adler is that the products were in our catalog for two years and they were amazingly beautiful products and very well received. And the reason that they are not in our catalogs anymore, if you ask me, is because Jonathan Adler has a higher price point than what Party Light was willing to use. And that is the honest truth. When I went to a Jonathan Adler store in Arizona back in November, I was amazed at the quality, the beauty, and the price points that the Jonathan Adler products could command. They were very, very beautiful and very, very quirky and very artistic in, a, in his own style. And honestly, the prices were much higher than what Party Light, I think, would be willing to put in its catalog on an ongoing basis. So that's just my take on it. Um, I'm really proud to offer these products and to have them at these prices is great. 
One last point, you do not need to buy anything else but a Jonathan Adler product if you don't want to. In other words, there's no minimum purchase required. So I, um, I actually wish there were, but there's not. So you can just buy one sconce if you want to, or um, one dozen of the Big Apple by Day tea lights, whatever you want. All right. The third guest special is the amazing essential jar special. The essential jars are buy two, get one free this month. And again, that requires absolutely no other purchase. However, here's what I've been doing at my parties and I find it very successful. It's a offer that is an add-on sale. And so I am actually enjoying beginning my party by talking about the essential jars and letting everybody know that they will be able to purchase two and get one for free at the end. So they should select at least three fragrances that they really like, and we can add that to their order. And I'm also letting them know that the essential jars make absolutely perfect gifts for people. They're the perfect gift to just have in the closet when you are looking for a gift at the last minute, instead of pulling out a bottle of wine, just wrap up an essential jar. It's beautiful and ready to go. So the second set of promotions are the host specials. And um, I was very tempted to start with this one. Um, but as you know, and I think you know this, the host specials are really, um, they're, they're incredible already. So 40% host credit for a $500 party or higher is an incredible opportunity. The way that I'm positioning this with my host is party lights gone mad. Party lights gone a little bit crazy. They're offering 40%. And the reason they're doing that is to encourage you to have a party now rather than waiting until November. And if they can't have a party in October, let them know that November is perfect time because it's your busiest month of the year. So that's the way I'm positioning the host specials. And please, it's early in the month right now. Now's the time to be calling people and just saying, listen, I don't want you to miss out. If you're interested, it's better to, for you to book now. If you're not interested, that's cool. But absolutely 40% for free is an amazing offer. I also, by the way, use $1,000 parties as my example. I tell people it's because I'm bad at math, but that's not true. I'm really good at math, but 40% of 1000 is $400 worth of free product. And I think that sounds awesome. And I also think that $1,000 parties are pretty much the norm this time of year. Okay, the third special group is new consultant specials. There is a beautiful start with success pack where the new consultant is going to get six brand new old style essential jars. Those essential jars may all be the same fragrance or they might be a variety of fragrances, but they're going to be given six of them for free. Those uh, candles will come in the starter party order, not in the starter kit. And they will be intentionally um, provided to be given to the first six hosts of a new consultant's um, career in Party Light. So uh, it's a little gift to the new consultant that they can then pass on and pay it forward to their new hosts. The third special or fourth group of specials is for consultants. Please read this in its entirety. If you hold three, five, or seven, $500 or more parties in the month of October, you are going to be rewarded with free products from the new catalog when it launches in January. This is an amazing opportunity to just do your business as you were normally going to do it anyway in October and be rewarded with free products when the new catalog launches. It's a great offer. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on it because it's all in black and white. If you are a new consultant and don't have a copy of Reflections, please get in touch with your unit leader and ask them to get you a copy of Reflections right away. But if you're a new consultant, you can always see the reflections and all of the promotional brochures online on the CBC. So check that out if you don't have them already. The last promotion is over there on the right hand side. It says become, <clears throat> sorry, become a new unit leader or promote out a new unit leader by January 1st, 2016 and receive this great gift. Now, oh, coffee is good. Um, what I want you to know about this is that picture is a little bit um, over-promising. You only get one of those. 
<laughs> but you get a beautiful Lisa Hoffman bracelet with a pendant on it and All right, I think I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, my, my whole screen went away and I'm sure that my voice went away too. Claire, could you write back that you can hear me? That would be great because you told me that you lost me. <laughs> Yay, thank you. All right, so let's keep going on that. But you do get one of those if you promote to unit leader. Talk to your unit leader and ask them to help you become a unit leader by January 1st. It's not only doable, it's fun. For your diary, I hopefully can do this slide in about one minute because I want to make sure I've got the training time. But for your diary, the Cocoon Club is a club for people who are aspiring to be unit leaders. It's for everybody in my downline. You're welcome to participate in the Cocoon Club if you would like to set a goal of achieving unit leader and you're willing to set a date. Right now, we have people in the Cocoon Club who are targeting January 1st and, and or earlier to become unit leaders. And we also have people who are targeting to do it before our next conference. If you're willing to work towards either of those two dates, then you're very welcome to attend the Cocoon Club on October 14th. We have unit, <clears throat> unit meetings every month. Check with your unit leader to find out the date for those unit meetings and prioritize going to those. If you are not living near your unit leader, there are unit meetings all across Australia. So if you're one of our new um, our new teammates who live in Melbourne or Victoria or um, up there in um, Brisbane, or if you're out in rural New South Wales, I bet I can find a unit meeting for you nearby. So please ask. Consultant training is available um, this, uh, this month and next month. And we've already had this training in Sydney. But we have sponsored a lot of new people, and some of you have not gone to the Ride the Waves training. So I would like to encourage everybody in my downline to do a road show. Let's go out there and visit these other places to experience the Ride the Waves training with Eliana as the trainer. There is training that's happening in Newcastle, training that's happening in Canberra, and training that is happening in Orange. Um, you, you should get a little group together and go to this training. It does cost a little bit of money. I think it's $30. And if you register now, you just get a group together and go. It'll be heaps of fun on the ride. And you'll be able to take that training and really catapult your, your, your business forward, especially doing it now in October, November. I really can't encourage you enough. If you're a new consultant, please make sure that you do do the new consultant orientation with your unit leader. This takes one to two hours and we take you through a, a program that gives you some really good information about how to run your business, how to run your calendar, how to take care of your hosts and how to, how to make sure you're ready for your first parties. I'd like you to reserve December 16th. It's a Wednesday in um, if you're in Sydney or willing to come to Sydney for the holiday party. And I'd like you to encourage your partner to attend this. We review the annual numbers of um, revenue and new consultants and all kinds of things. And it's a good celebration and a good opportunity for your partner to see how big this business is because Wendy's downline all by itself is a million dollar business. We sell over a million dollars worth of candles every 12 months, and that number is growing every single day. So you're part of a big group. And if your partner can see that little old Wendy can do it, well, then little old you can do it too. It's a, it's a big business, this candle thing. 
Also, I wanted you to um, please reserve the date that is in your capital city for your Party Light Expo. Uh, in Sydney, we're doing it on December 7th. Don't miss out on buying your tickets. They're available now on the CBC under the Events tab. Your minimum purchase is three. You can buy three tickets. That's one for you and one for your two VIP guests. You should sell your $10 ticket to the VIP guests so that they come with you. Make it, again, a really fun event for them. And we will be launching the 2016 catalog at this event. And you should consider it a training exercise and a marketing exercise. Training for you, marketing for your VIPs. Please go ahead and register for that. Training. There are three uh, slides of training for us today, and you're going to be able to download this information. So please feel free to download it later. I'm going to probably put this webinar up onto our Facebook page and include the link in emails for a little while. The first training is about party checklists. I've been using this checklist system for the last two months or so, and I can't recommend it more. Before the party, I add the booking to my calendar right when it's made. That means I put it not only in my diary, but I put it in my Outlook file. And so I make sure that I don't accidentally double book myself for anything. I send a booking confirmation by email. I've already written that email and I just copy and paste it for every single new, new booking I get. And that is a really amazingly effective tool for the host to feel like she's booked the party. I also provide a host pack. Sometimes I do it at the party. Sometimes I do it by mail. I always confirm the contents of the host pack by phone, though. I call the uh, I call the host and I talk to him or her and I explain what's in the host pack. I always call the host two weeks prior just to leave a message usually and, and say, listen, just looking forward to your party in a couple weeks. Is there anything else that you need? I always call them one week prior, letting them know that I'm starting to put together my kit for them. And I want to make sure that if they want anything in particular, I'd be happy to bring it. I usually at that point mention that I will always offer my hosts two options at the end of a party. Option A, to take all of the free stuff. Option B, to become a consultant and start to earn some income selling party light. And I invite them to ask questions about both options if they want to. I don't like to pull option A and B out of the blue at the end of a party. I like to have already mentioned it and I do it on that call. I also call one day before the party and give them some added insight to just find out approximately how many people are coming so that I can bring enough catalogs. And I always ask them if they need anything else from me before we, get, before we start. And I usually recommend that they send out a reminder text to everybody who they've invited even if they have said that they um, can come, they should get a reminder because often people will forget that they've said that they're coming to something. And then the checklist after the party. Enter the party into the CBC. Well, obviously we do this, but ticking that off feels really good. Sending an order for confirmation to the host afterwards. Tick that box. It feels really good. Send a thank you email to all of your guests if you've got their email address, just confirming that you've put the order in and that it's on its way. Call two leads. I, I love to tick this off, and I always focus on two people at every party that I think would be great, and I offer them the opportunity to find out more about this business. If they're interested, they take me up. If they're not, they tell me why. Sometimes I can give them an example of people who have the same uh, objections to why I become a consultant, but have overcome those objections and been very successful. And I let those people know that no matter what, they're welcome to participate in the future. Following up on other action items, don't you find that sometimes someone will come to a party and say, oh, you know, I broke this. Can I get a replacement part? Or I'd really love to find out more about something. Follow up on those actions and tick the box. And then add the new hosts and the bookings that you've gotten to your calendar and start the process all over again. I find these checklists work really, really well. The next training slide is about planning weekly. I'm calling this the weekly experiment right now. 
If you stop thinking about your monthly goals and start thinking about weekly goals, I think you're going to find that your business thrives. I'd love for you to change your mindset to weekly rather than monthly, and I'm going to do everything I can to support that. Set goals for weekly activities, the weekly things that you want to do. I'm going to make calls this week for one hour. I'm going to do a party, and I am going to do my follow-up to that party. Those are weekly things. Encourage your hosts to book in the first two weeks of each month. It's better for specials because they won't run out, and it's better for deliveries because they come quickly. Those are the reasons why hosts should book parties in the first two weeks of the month, but it also starts to get you thinking in weeks rather than months, and it encourages people to actually book in certain weeks of the month rather than in a big, big month period. Also, I suggest making it a personal goal, a personal target to be paid every week. Party Light pays weekly. So if you have weekly activity, you're going to get weekly income. Why not try it? And the third slide about training is planning for the holidays. This is a really important time of the year. We are about to enter the busiest time for candle sales and for parties of the entire year. October, November, and December. So it's important that you've got your holidays in mind already because we want you to start January strong. But more importantly, do you see the little man carrying the little puzzle piece across that bridge? And the little man is about to put the red piece right in the middle. That red piece represents your holidays, your break, the time you're going to take off in December and January. And that time is important. I don't want you to think for one second that I don't think that you should take time off from your party light business. You absolutely should. So make sure that red puzzle piece is well defined because I don't want it to be flimsy either. If it's flimsy, you might end up starting January and not even feeling like you really took time off. So in December, how many weeks do you want to work? I want to work three weeks in December. I'm going to work the first, second, and third week in December. And then on December 19th, I'm done. I'm going to finish up everything that I need to because on the 20th, I'm going on vacation. And I'm going to be gone until the 6th of January. And I'm actually not coming back to work until the 8th of January. So I've really specifically defined when I'm coming back to work. When should the people expect me back in the office? So it's very important that you know when you're working and when you're not. Now in January, what day are you going to restart your business? Well, I just told you that I'm starting my business on the 8th of January. So guess what I've done? I've booked a launch party at my house and I'm starting to tell people about it already. And I highly recommend that you do exactly the same thing. The best thing is you will already have new products that you can share with your guests at that event if you achieve three, five, or seven $500 parties this month. You know already that you're going to have new product to show people. So please, I encourage you with the utmost um, sincerity Plan your holidays now. Ask yourself for time off and give yourself the approval right away. That's the best part about Party Light. You work for yourself. But the worst part about Party Light is you work for yourself. Sometimes you don't even think to plan for your holidays. So I'm telling you right now, make that little red puzzle piece clearly defined so that not only you, but your family know when you're not working at all. Let's go to the next slide. It's the second to the last one, and it's about our activity. So this is your challenge, basically your homework. I would like to suggest that every day this week, I would like you to tell either one, two, or three people. You get to pick the number. Tell one, two, or three people about the amazing 40% host credits. And just to push the point a little bit further, hand them a $50 voucher that has an expiry date of the 31st of October. Hand it to them. I suggest, if you if you decide that you're going to pick two, that every day you're going to tell two people about this, 
I want you to write out the $50 vouchers already, 14 of them, and have them with you at all times. Maybe even have 14 tea lights with you at all times as well. And give the tea light and the $50 voucher to two people every day. And let them know that you have however many party dates available still that they could book a party. I strongly encourage you to tell them in week two, you've still got one party available. In week three, you've got two dates available. And in week four, you've got one. Whatever the truth is, talk in weeks and let them see what your availability is. And I bet you can get some more bookings this month. Another suggestion, by the way, is to call all of your November hosts. Make sure that they know that 40% is available in the month of October and ask them if they would like to move their party to October. If they do, then you will have a freed up date in November that you can book more parties. The next bullet and the next activity is for you to organize your calendar for the next 15 weeks. Now, Viola is excited about getting her new business planner, but this activity that I'm about to talk about does not require your new business planner. You can actually do this in the one you already have. I want you to plan the week of October 5th all the way to the week of January 25th. That's 15 weeks of activity. I want you to mark all of the meetings that you know about, all of the unit meetings, all of the training, everything. I want you to mark out all of the public holidays. Mark out Christmas Day, mark out New Year's Day, um, every, every public holiday that's there, mark them out. Mark out Boxing Day. Mark all of your stop and start dates for Party Light. Define what day you're stopping and what day you're starting again. Then highlight with a highlighter the days you want to book parties. And last but not least, I suggest that you, the next time you're at a, a um, news agency, buy some little metallic stars stickers and put stars in the dates of the first two weeks of each month. So the first two weeks of October, the first two weeks of November, the first two weeks of December, just put stars there. And if people ask what the stars mean, let them know that anybody who books a party on a date with a star on it gets an extra host gift. Now that gift can be anything. It could be a votive in a votive cup. And that votive cup could be one of those cute little party light votive cups that you get in the fragrance sampler. Um, the No, that's not what it's called. Can't remember what it's called, but you can buy 12. Um, oh, I can't remember. Oh, the fragrance bar. That's it. So you buy the fragrance bar on your consultant order and you get 12 beautiful glass party light branded votive cups. I love to give those away with one votive in them, cellophane wrap wrapped up and I could give that to them. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. <laughs> anyway, I love that idea of putting stars in the dates of the first two weeks and just telling people who ask. Well, that brings me to the end of our very first webinar. The very last slide is this one and it says thanks for watching, but it's the inspirational close that I would like to share with you. Accept the challenge so that you can feel the exhilaration of victory. I think we all know what that exhilaration feels like. If you accept the challenge of building your business or at least achieving whatever goals you set, you don't have to build your business to be a big empire. You don't have to, you know, make this big and, and change your entire life. Or you can make it as big as you want to and change your entire life. But Everywhere in between there is available to you from just doing one party a week, which works a treat. It, it makes your, your business comfortable and, and reliable income and it's something that you can count on. And it's, a, it's fun. You're spreading the light. If that's what you want to do, do that. Or if you prefer, help yourself build a business and change your life, change your lifestyle and give yourself a career in party life. It doesn't matter. No matter what your challenge is that you set for yourself, accept it and feel the exhilaration of victory when you achieve it. And that's our close for today. 
I really, really appreciate all of you for watching. Those of you who watched live, thank you. I can see a few of you online and it makes me smile. I also would really like to thank you who are watching the recording. I hope that the quality of the recording is as good as the content that I've just given you. <laughs> How cocky am I? Thanks a lot. I'm going to hit um, the close button and stop recording and have a great weekend. It's a long weekend here in New South Wales. Have fun. Okay. Bye.